Hello, you're welcome to today's class. We'll be looking at National Examinations Council 2024 Basic Education Certificate Examination Pre-Vocational Studies 1 and 2. But for today's class, we'll be looking at Paper 1, Agriculture. Okay, can look at the instructions or let's go straight to question 1. Agriculture involves mainly the A. Growing of edible crops, B. Management of crops and livestock, C. Marketing of crop and animal produces, D. Provision of raw materials, E. Rearing of farm animals. Among all the options we have, the correct answer is B. Agriculture involves mainly it's not as if the other options um, does not have anything to do with agriculture, but it involves mainly the management of crops and livestock. Question number two. A branch of agriculture that deals with farming of B is A. Agronomy B. Apiculture C. Entomology D. Heliculture E. Pathology the right answer is B. Apiculture is simply a branch of agriculture that deals with farming of B. Alright, let's scroll down to question 3. Which of the following industries does not use agricultural produce as a raw material? A. Beverage B. Brewery C. Ceramic D. Paper E. Textile among the options, it is only the ceramic companies that do not use agricultural produce as a raw material. Question 4. We have a plant. The crop, I've picked the answer for you. The crop below is classified as legume because it possesses A. Inflorescence on its branch. B. Internodes on its stem. C. Nodules on its root system. D. Numerous prompt root system. E. Stomata on its leaf. The right answer is um, C. Legumes possesses nodules on its root system. Question number 5. Let's go up. Which of the following crops will serve as a good source of carbohydrates? A. Cow pea. B. Granut. C. Guinea corn. D. Lemma bean. E. Pigin pea. The correct answer is C. Guinea corn can serve as a good source of carbohydrates. Question number six. Oil palm and mango are classified as perennial crops because they are. Before we take the options, I want you to know that perennial crops are crops that mature in more than two years. And then oil palm and mango mature in more than two years. So let's take the options. A. Are cultivated in plantation. B. Complete their life cycle in a season. C. Mature in more than two years. D. Produce fruit in branches. E. Require high humidity. So the right option is um, C. Mature in more than two years. Question 7 says... Which of the following is a drought animal? Drought animals are animals that are used for heavy labor. A. Dog B. Donkey C. Goat D. Pig E. Sheep Among the options, it is only donkey that is used for heavy labor here. So B is the right answer. So we are done with the first page and we've answered questions 1 to 7. Let's go to the next page. Use the diagram of the animal below to answer questions 8 and 9. Question 8 says, the farm animal is com commonly raised in um, A. Apiaries B. Hodge C. Pens D. Poultry E. Ranch This animal is a housefly, so and it can commonly be seen and the poultry where it feeds on 
the those remains there. Question nine. Based on size and habitat, the farm animal is classified as A, big and terrestrial, B, large and aquatic, C, medium and forest, D, micro and aquatic, E, small and terrestrial. Of course, the um, animal is small, so it has to be small and terrestrial. Let's move over to question 10. A rich farmer who wishes to control the infestation of spare grass in his farm before harvesting will practice A. Burning B. Cover crubbing C. Crop rotation D. Hand pulling E. Slashing The right answer is um, slashing. So to control the infestation of spare grass, the, those grasses can be, you know, slash out with cutlass. Question 11. Which of the following is a characteristic of weeds? They are A. Adapt easily to all environment. B. Are easy to eradicate. C. Do not regenerate fast. D. Have inefficient means of propagation. E. Produce small quantities of seeds. The right answer is a. Weeds adapt easily to all environment. Question 12. A cultural practice that helps a farmer to prevent the growth of weeds in his farm is A. Hand pulling. B. Herbicide application. C. Mulching. D. Plowing. E. Slashing. The right answer is mulching. Which is um when the soil okay so that's um C that's this that's covering the soil around plants with a layer of material. Question thirteen. Which of the following pets attack series during milk stage and after green development? The first one is A aphids, B beetle, C birds, D monkey, E weevils. So the right answer is E. Weevils. Let's move over. If you look at this diagram, it looks like a centipede. So we are going to use it to answer question 14 and 15. Question 14. The pest represented in the diagram causes A. Death of seedlings. B. Disease infection. C. Leaf distortion. D. Rotting of fruits. E. Twisting of stems. So, um, centipedes actually feed on leaf so it's leaf destruction that's the right answer all right we are done with the second page i hope you're following let's um, take a look at the next page as we look at question 15. which of the following control measures will you advise a farmer to take in order to avoid further damage on his crops by the pests a. Burning of infected plants. B. Hard picking of pests. C. Planting of resistant varieties. D. Regular weeding of farm. E. Using scare crop tools. The right answer is C. To avoid further damage of crops by pests, we need to advise the farmer to plant resistant varieties. Question 16 says, the following are functions of a farm manager except that they A. Assist farm laborers, B. Direct farm workers, C. Organize farm activities, D. Plan farm business, E. Supervise farm projects. The farm manager can um, direct farm workers, organize farm activities, plan farm businesses, Supervise farm project, but they cannot directly assist the farm laborers. So A is the right answer. Question 17. If the length and width of a farmland are 30 meters times 40 meters, that's 30 meters by 40 meters, respectively, what is the area of the farmland? Farmlands are always rectangular. An area of a 
rectangle is length times breadth. So the area will simply be the length 30 meters times 40 meters. So area will be, let's multiply the non-zero digit, 3 times 4, 12, bring out the two zeros, 1,200 meters square, which is A. Question 18. Which of the following types of labor is commonly used, used in peasant farming? A. Communal. B. Family. C. Hired. D. Semi-skilled. E. Skilled. Peasants relies heavily on family labor where family members contribute to various agricultural tasks without direct payment. So, Family is the right answer. That is where you see that mom, children doing the work themselves without having to pay other people to do the work for them. So for peasant farming, family is commonly used. Question number 19. The farm structure for story yams is known as A. Ban, B. Creep, C. Rhombus, D. Silo, E. T. Ban is the right answer. You see how they arrange two bars of yams and the ban. Question number 20. The major reason for constructing foot deep in the entrance of animal building is to A. Prevent the attack of animals by predators. B. Prevent the entrance of thieves into the farm. C. Protect farmers from animal cannibalism. D. Reduce the tramping of smaller animals. E. Reduce the spread of animal disease, diseases. So the right answer is E. When we talk about this, let me underline it. The food deep. Food deep are often filled with disinfectant solutions and the idea is simply to reduce the spread of animal diseases. All right, we need to take a look at this diagram. So we are going to use the diagram to answer questions 21 and 22. In this diagram, number 21, the building label, labeled one is a dash house, of course, farmhouse. The one labeled one is a farmhouse. So the right answer is A. All right, we are done with page four. We need to flip to page five. Question 22, the structure labeled two is mainly for what? Let's go back to read. You can see two, that's this structure um, is just for storage. All right, so let's go back to question 22. The structure labeled two is mainly for A, admitting injured farm attendants, B, keeping farm documents, C. Lodging farm expatriate. D. Rearing farm animals. E. Storing farm produce. That is the right answer. Question 23. A crop which is usually propagated sexually is A. Banana. B. Cowpea. C. Ginger. D. Pineapple. E. Sugarcane. The correct answer is pineapple which is option D. Question 24 says, the following are disadvantages of sexual propagation except that A, germination may not occur. B, individuals with undesirable quality may result. C, plant vigor is enhanced. D, pollination is highly required. E, there may be no uniformity in maturity. For question 24, the right answer is C. Plant vigor is enhanced is not a disadvantage of sexual propagation. Question 25. Which of the following crops is propagated by the use of soccer? A. Carrot. B. Lemon. C. Mango. D. Pineapple. E. Tomato. The right answer is pineapple, which is option Question 26. During cross-pollination, pollen grains are transferred from A, anter to stigma. Let's not go far. That's the right answer. A. During cross-pollination, 
polling greens are transferred from Anta to Stigma. Question 27. The common farm to use for transplanting is A. As B. Hand fork C. Hand trowel D. Mallet E. Shovel The right answer is C. Hand trowel Question 28 says The wastage of agricultural produce during harvest is mainly due to inadequate A. Agricultural education and extension B. Agricultural financing C. Implementation of government policies on agriculture D. Storage and processing facilities E. Transport facilities The correct answer is D. Once there is no adequate storage and processing facilities, definitely wastage is meant to be there. Question number 29. Seed rate is best described as the amount of A. Infected seeds B. Seedling rates C. Seedling transplanted D. Seeds planted E. Unviable seeds the right answer is um, D. Seeds planted are actually best. Dis That's actually the seed rate here. Question 30. In rice processing, the removal of the hogs from the green is called what? A. Hauling. B. Parboling. C. Polishing. D. Trashing. E. Winnowing. The right answer is hauling. Hauling is a process of removing the outer ox or hull from the rice grain, leaving the edible portion exposed. So I'm going to pick A. Now for this first part of agriculture, I'm going to be stopping here. I just went through the first 30 questions. If you have the question paper, what you have is 60 questions. In the next video, I'm going to start from question 31 and then we'll complete it, run it all the way to 60. So, thank you for staying with me. I want you to keep enjoying what we do here. Support what we do by always giving us, us thumbs up, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so. For now, I'm going to say bye.